finding yourself wanting to explore other ways to decorate your farm or just need some space for some of your machines. If the sheds are too expensive for you or you don't have enough room for them, why not use the whole of Pelican Town instead with these awesome tips. What is up guys, it's your girl Fuzz and welcome back to another Stardew Valley video. So firstly, there are many places in Pelican Town that you can use to place your machines. Your artisan machines and refining machines can definitely be utilized on your farm, especially with the use of sheds. But sometimes you don't have the room for them or you don't want to use the resources to build yourself a shed. So here are some ideas that you can be using in Pelican Town to utilize the space that is available and also to save you some space on your farm for things like more crops or even more coops and barns. So let's choose an easily accessible area right from the get-go. And that is the little area that stretches right behind the farm, also known as the backwoods. I would assume that you have walked through this area many times, just a way to return from the mines prior to the minecarts, or just an easy way to speak to Robin the Carpenter. Why not bring some attention to this area by placing some machines down? Why not use this area for some kegs and some preserved jars? Around 80 kegs and 20 preserved jars were placed here. This build could kill two birds with one stone. Harvest in the morning, place your harvest in these machines, and then head to to the mountains to continue your adventure. Here is an example of some artisan machines ready to collect. If you want an easier way to identify when these machines are done, why not place a machine down on your farm close by? When this is done, you'll know that the rest of the machines are complete. Want something a little more relaxing? Why not have this as a seating area instead? It gives this area more life when furniture is placed outdoors. Or just finish the mine run with heaps of ores and coals? Use furnaces here instead to fill in all the furnaces and have them done by the morning. How about the beach being utilized? It will be a little bit difficult as many Pelican Town residents have different walking patterns through here. I decided to place down some cobblestone flooring on roughly where these walking paths will go through. If a machine is in the way of a Pelican Town resident, they will destroy the machine. This is a rough area on where the walking paths are, which was more than enough room for my idea. Worm bins and recyclers can be utilized here and so could chairs for specific fishes. Whether that be chairs for season specific fish or if you feel like color coding your fish. I decided using the west side of the beach was a greater idea than the rest of the beach as the center and the east side can get a bit annoying to figure out the walking paths. Here is a safe idea that can be used for your worm bins, your recyclers and some chests if need be. The cobblestone flooring pieces aren't needed but I kept them there anyway. Hey, why not decorate the bus area so Pam isn't just waiting there and staring at nothing? Even though we think she might be evil and deserves nothing better. This bus area can not only be utilized to place down some tree seeds or to collect some forages, but it is a great place to place your machines down as accessing this area is right outside your farm's doorstep. You can also include the tunnel to the west of the bus as both these areas should be utilized. The tunnel to the far west, this crossroad right here, and the bus areas can all be utilized. You can pretty much place any machines here, but I chose to go with crystallariums. A total of 74 can be used in this setup. Likewise, another 41 can be placed behind the bus here. Obviously, this machine can be replaced by any other refining or artisan machine you like. I then decided to bring this bus stop alive a little more. If your choice is to cover the whole area with your favorite artisan or refining machines, that is a great idea. Just be sure that all walking paths of Pelican Town residents such as Pam and Abigail are clear. Since I had the idea of covering other areas of Pelican Town with more machines, I decided why not spice up the area with some furniture now that it can be placed outdoors. With a mixture of flooring, furniture from the catalog and some lamp posts that were crafted, you can create yourself a little seating area which I hope looks like a little cafe served by a scarecrow. During the day, these areas look really cool. It definitely made me want to think of other ways I can utilize Pelican Town further. With the same thought in mind over all these examples, you can turn the train station from a boring empty place to an area to sit back and listen to the birds chirp whilst having plenty of space for some tap trees or to simply keep the area to farm wood or take this into Cindersat Forest. Any flooring that looks like dirt can have any tree seeds placed. Start an entryway with some tap trees like this or walk your way down to the south of Cindersat Forest and use either the ground along the river or designate the area near the sewers for your tap trees. Here is a final result of all these examples used in Cindersat Forest. This is a great way to farm your syrups either for recipes such as kegs or if you have the level 10 foraging perk to increase the sell value of your syrups, maple syrup can sell for the most at 250 gold each. So why not utilize this perk? Okay, so you've just gone through the mines and after some exploration your pockets are full but you don't want to return to your farm yet as your day in the mines
minds isn't done. Create an amazing space outside the minds with some furnaces and a chest or two to dump your unnecessary items. With the 1.5 update, geo crushes and bone meals should definitely be crafted and placed within here. So bring your extra coal and geodes to the geo crushes and your bone to the bone mills when returning out of the mines. Don't forget you can also place some flooring here so create a walking space enough to reach each machine and you should come up with an idea that's similar to this. Not only can items be placed here to create better resources but it can save you time and space instead of waiting until you return home to empty your pockets. Got the quarry unlocked via the community center or the Georgia way? Why not consider using this area to your advantage? Obviously this area isn't too big but if you don't have the sheds unlocked you can definitely utilize this area. I believe some spacing should be left for the trees, the stones and the geos that continue to replenish every so often but using the quarry especially earlier game is a great tool to assist your farm. If you want a designated area for your machines that is off the farm, the quarry is definitely an area that can be used that sometimes can be forgotten. Now of course any artisan or refining machine can be placed here or you can even use this area to farm your trees using tree seeds but my two favorite machines in Saju Valley are crystallariums and kegs and that can be explained more on my live streams on twitch.tv forward slash fuzzerino where I mostly stream Saju Valley. This whole area can be used for your liking but I enjoy resources randomly spawning so that is my reason for leaving this bottom area. You can pretty much use this whole area for all your machines if you like or even more of a storage area. The possibilities are endless so definitely check out the quarry as another area to store your machines or even to store your items. All of Pelican Town should be used for your imagination and these possibilities could be the difference your farm needs to exceed. It might require a lot of preparation but this is the fun of exploring these possibilities. You can even decorate Pelican Town Center with any machines you like. Just keep in mind of the residents walking patterns. If you would like a breakdown of these to avoid Pelican Town residents breaking your machines definitely check out the Stardew Valley wiki. I will have a link to this in the description below. The link will take you to the worm bin wiki page that has photos of every Pelican Town location and the area that your machines can be placed down to avoid being destroyed. Here is an example of Pelican Town itself and here is my idea coming together using this photo. Flooring can definitely be a help to direct your character the right way and to remind yourself not to place an item here. Use Pelican Town as if you own it and have Mayor Lewis running for his money. Literally. Finally, why not give Calico Desert some love? Place machines down that can be used in the desert. For example, you can use some kegs to farm yourself some coffees with coffee beans or green tea with tea leaves to use in the skull cavern when the time comes. Or why not fill in the space with crystallariums and farm minerals used at the desert trader. You can check out my skull cavern video that mentions which minerals could be best utilized at the desert trader. I have filled the crystallariums here with diamonds, rubies and jade but you can essentially have all the crystallariums farming yourself all the other minerals too in Stardew Valley. The rest of Pelican Town can be used for machines or furniture but be sure to be aware of their walking paths. Obviously flooring won't be disrupted so you can change the floor colors if you really like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you next time and I'll see you next video. Take care.